chameleons. Um, I miss you guys so much. I've been thinking of you a lot and I thought it would be fun to do a little video to say hi. Um, and one of the things I was thinking about is that yesterday was the first day of spring, which I bet a lot of you know. And we have been singing at school our song about how spring is coming. So I thought it might be fun to sing that one more time together. And I don't usually sing songs in front of a video camera or a computer that's recording me. And so I was hoping that you would sing along while you watch it. So that will make me feel less nervous. Okay, ready? Spring is coming, spring is coming, birdies build your nests, leaves together, straw and feather, doing each your best. Spring is coming, spring is coming, flowers are coming too, pansies, lilies, daffodils. Daffodillies all are coming through. Spring is coming, spring is coming, all around is fair. Shimmers quiver on the river, joy is everywhere. And then I also have this book that I thought you might like. It's called Outside Your Window, a first book of nature, and it has poems. And one of the chapters is all poems about spring, which I thought might be fun to read, a few of them. And it might give you an idea of some things to look for that might be happening now outside your house where you live. So spring. Spring is the busiest season. Plants and animals are waking up after their winter rest. And there's so much to do, flowers to grow, eggs to lay, babies to feed. Everywhere you look, there's something happening. Water. The icicles melt and water whispers. Drip, drip, drip. The, ste the stream flows and water chatters. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. The rain falls on the grass and water sings. Grow, grow, grow. Bulbs. Look, look, there's a green shoot in the snow. A bulb is sprouting. The cold still bites and the wind still blows, but something tells the bulb that it's time to go. Inside its brown coat and layers like an onion, a tiny pulp. Counting out the days like a calendar, so the bulb knows winter's almost gone, and soon it will be time for leaves and flowers. You can definitely see some bulbs that are starting to shoot up. We don't have a lot of snow, so they're not shooting through the snow, but through the ground. Listen to the pond. Listen. Can you hear it? The frogs are croaking in the pond and laying eggs like spotted jelly. Next week, the spots will be wiggly tadpoles. Next month, they'll grow a pair of legs. By summer, they'll be tiny frogs that leap off into the world. And one night in another spring, when they're big frogs, they'll be back. This poem is called Migration, and it was reminding me of those big Vs of birds we were seeing flying when we were walking to the play yard in the parking lot. In the treetops, in the bushes, there are new songs and colors. The little birds are back. They've flown so fast over forests, mountains, deserts, seas, such a long, long way to get back to us. Yet here they are bright and alive, fluttering, singing, ready for spring. And one more I thought would be fun called nesting. The 
the birds are busy nest building, dashing back and forth, first with twigs and grasses to make the nest cup, then with wisps of fluff and tiny feathers to make a soft, cozy lining that will keep their eggs all safe and warm. And we have definitely been observing some nest building from our play yard. I wonder if there's any that you can see from near where you live. All right, well, that's that for now. Maybe on the first day of summer, or close to it, we can start reading some of these summer poems in person. We'll actually be together. All right, I hope everyone is doing well. This is my cat, Wilson. He came to say hi. Um, and I, I'm very impressed with all the really cool work you guys have been doing. Um, really fun to see your animals out that you've drawn and made out of food and other materials. Um, and talk to you more soon. Bye.